Innovation refers to the process of change, alteration, revolution, even idea creation. The digital era has yielded changes that we often take for granted. So how does BSD City, which is trailblazing in terms of innovation as an incubator for new creative talent, set the mark? I'm Jason Pomeroy, I'm an architect, academic and urban planner. I'm passionate about cities and I'm here to find out. Technology has created new skills, helped forge new businesses and grown digital industries. One of the major changes is the proliferation of coding and open source academies. And judging by the looks of this classroom, I can witness the shift from the analogue to the digital age. So what would I learn in a coding academy? The basic knowledge of algorithm, uh, and then also you learn about data structure, how to manage your data, and then we teach you all uh, to build the applications, right? Whether it's web-based or mobile, and even we teach you how to analyze all the big data right now in order to extract knowledge from it so that a companies can make uh, the right decision. I cannot help but feel that they can be also the source of unbridled creativity. And so why did you decide to enrol in Perawatika School? I've actually been observing the uh, growth of technology industries around the world and I've from what I see, Indonesia is just starting to grow its technological industry and that's why I personally would like to be part of the, the first generation, you could say, the pilgrims to start to grow the technology industry in Indonesia. Well, I guess, you know, shifting from a manufacturing economy to a digital economy yes. with such a big population like Indonesia, which has over 250 million people, will be a good thing. So, uh, great. I wish you all the best in your digital careers. This is another example of a place that is nurturing the digital talent of the future and regularly sees many a tech entrepreneur paired with business people to help form, shape and grow businesses. But innovation requires more than just the theory. The processing, modelling and testing of real-time solutions or products before real-world implementation are key to avoid future redundancy. Whether that is through robotics and open source hardware workshops that puts the tools and components into the hands of young inventors, or 3D printing to mock up the next big idea, or virtual reality that facilitates easy learning and provides an immersive educational experience. But in order to innovate, one needs a healthy live, work and play balance. And the digital age has brought about some rather eye-opening innovations when it comes to downtime. At NXL, the academy nurtures students to be the next Fortnite world champion. Esports is one of the fastest growing industries with record-breaking prize money being grabbed by tech-savvy Gen Zs. From the prize pool perspective, Esports is bigger than the traditional sports. Like NFL? Yeah, yeah. NFL, NBA, Wimbledon, Tennis Wimbledon, the price pool is very, very huge. So you're probably going to see a lot more people entering into esports in the future. So yes. I guess you have to really train like performance athletes to try and get to your kind of best level. Yeah, if we want to compete against the best of the world, mm. we need to compete, uh, we need to train our skill wise, communication, strategy wise. Like the traditional athletes, uh, for example, Tiger Woods hits 1,000 uh, golf every day, yeah. so we do, but 12 hours per day. Ensuring that there are spaces and places that can facilitate collaborative working and creative hubs that can forge a culture of innovation appear to be key ingredients in BSD City. So what happens in Creative Nest? It's a training center basically for all ages from kids to adults Fantastic. and uh, we, we try to let all the creative people from their expertise is to share all their understanding about uh, industry, creative industry and share them with all the people that want to learn creative basically. That sounds great. So yeah. it's nice to see the balance between all of the technology that's coming into yes. BSD with yes. something that is actually quite sort of soft skill creative yes. and what a fantastic place you've got Thank here. you. 
So what have I learned from BSD City? Well, it has a very strong culture of innovation. And ultimately, you need spaces and places like these that would allow people to come together, share their ideas, collaborate, celebrate, and hopefully transform the manufacturing economy to a digital economy. And ultimately, this is representing the Silicon Valley of Indonesia. Let's look forward to a very, very bright future.